I mean, do you do you decide to hate someone because they spoke evil of you at work? Because they mistreated you? My goodness. And let me just throw my own testimony in here. In my secular job, now I'm believing God for the day that, uh, that I'm able to separate myself from my secular profession and uh, go into ministry full time. I'm believing God for that. The problem is that in my belief for this thing and my hope for this thing to pass in my life, I had been going around saying, I hate my job. I hate my job. I'd say, I've been saying that and I come home every day and, and I, I, there's, uh, there's a little tree out in the front yard and I touch the tree and I, I call myself leaving my troubles on the tree. Uh, but how can the Holy Spirit convicted me of this because I said I choose to love. I choose to love. I've been telling people I choose to love. I've been telling ministers and pastors and leaders and I choose to love. And yet I come home every day saying I hate my job. How hypocritical is that? So I choose to have love for my job. And I choose to have joy in my job. Now are the circumstances picture perfect? No. Is it what I want to be doing right now? Not exactly. But I have to, I love the people. I love the, the there are people from many different cultures in my secular profession. And I do my best to demonstrate the love of Christ for them. I choose to love them. So how dare I say that I hate my job? Amen. Finally, love is sacrificial. Love is sacrificial. And, and, and hear me, because if you say that you love, but you're unwilling to sacrifice, I'd go back and reevaluate my love walk if I were you. Amen. <laughs> because love is sacrificial. Love is giving. Love is giving. And if you're... Life is not life without loving. And loving or and living is life is not living without loving. And loving is not loving without giving. Let me say that again. Life without, let me say that again. Life, let me say that again. Life without loving is not living. And Loving is impossible without giving. The first occurrence of the verb love, or variation, a conjugation of the verb love, uh, happened in Genesis 22, 6, where God spoke to Abraham and said, Take your son whom thou lovest, and sacrifice him. In other words, God took the thing that Abraham loved in the world and asked him to lay it down before him. If you're not if you're not living sacrificially, if you're not loving sacrificially, and see what God 
what God wanted Abraham to understand about himself, because understand, God doesn't put these tests on us so, so he can find out what's going on in our mind or what's going on in our hearts. God knows everything in your thoughts and, and mind before you even think it. Amen? So it, it, the test was not for God. The test was for Abraham, so Abraham could see where his affection truly lied. Now, in that case, he was going to take Isaac, his only son, or actually he had, he had Ishmael, but Ishmael was born of the flesh and, and, and Isaac was born of a promise. And he was going to take the son of promise and sacrifice him, slay him before God. Now, how many of y'all would do that? Now, the answer is not many, and, and I, I certainly hope that under the new covenant that that answer would be none of you. But the point is, Abraham came to understand something about sacrifice from that. And if you're not living sacrificially, you can't be loving. Amen? It's important to choose love. Love is a choice. It's not simply an emotion. It's a state of being. It's a way of life. I urge you today to go into your prayer closet in your private time with the Father and ask him in the name of Jesus, show me how to love sacrificially. This is Derek Day with Agape Dominion. God bless you and we love you.